At the very highest level, the general idea of cryptography is to keep a secret by scrambling the information. More specifically, there's some original piece of data called the plain text that is then run through an encryption algorithm. So encryption converts the plain text into ciphertext, where ciphertext is the data after the encryption occurs. The point of performing the encryption is that no one except the intended recipient is able to take the ciphertext and convert it back to plain text to be able to read it. A key concept in knowing whether encryption is good or not is whether it displays the avalanche effect. In an avalanche effect, there are two pieces. The first is confusion. Confusion means that multiple bits in the plain text are combined to make a ciphertext bit. That means that ideally, each bit of the ciphertext output changes if any one of any of the bits of the input plain text are changed. The other side of that same coin is diffusion. Diffusion works sort of the other way. Each bit of plain text affects many of the bits of ciphertext. In particular, what you'd like is if a single bit of the plain text changes, then all the bits of the ciphertext change. For mathematical purists, all these changes are with probability 0.5. What this amounts to is that the ciphertext is a random function of the plain text bits. In other words, good encryption looks like a random number generator that takes all the input plain text bits in, produces a pseudorandom number as an output in the form of ciphertext, and unless you know some secret, you're not able to reverse the process to get from ciphertext back to plain text. There are some common anti patterns for poor use of cryptography. One is using a homemade cryptographic algorithm. Simplistic algorithms can be broken, and you need to use professionally available, publicly scrutinized algorithms to have any chance of making your cryptography good. The next one is using private keys when a public key algorithm is required, and we'll explain what that means. And the last one is not thinking about key distribution during the design process, where keys are the secret that enables you to convert the plain text to ciphertext and back.